Welcome to my world. It's another day, another time, another period that I have to give you knowledge. Knowledge is power, health is wealth. There is a, a recent uh, learning, high to have gotten from Professor Tomori, that we, those days, in the olden days, they were living on chance. That this day, because of acquisition of knowledge, we have choices. So, really, when I look at the topic I'm trying to present today, Pepe, people those days, generally, even elderly people in our area, will say Pepe is good life, gives you good health. Is it a myth or is it a fact? This is the difference. When you talk of meat and fat, you are already talking about chance and choice. When it becomes a known fact, then you have a choice. So I am trying to present a choice to you on paper and how we can acquire more knowledge. We have varieties of paper, as you can see in that background uh, thing that I have used. The, the, in uh, Yoruba land, we call the first one Tatashe, the next one um, Shombo, and the smaller one Hatarodo. But the English translation means red bell pepper. And there is the chili pepper, which is very pepperish. So, of what earth advantage are all this? That is what you are going to get to do. If you like my presentation, please press the like button, subscribe, and here we go. Here we go to this like session. Pepper and Good Health Laboratory Investigation. The outline is introduction, the myths, laboratory findings, and conclusion. Introduction. Pepper are considered a fruit because they belong to the family of flowering plants that produce seeds. English, their English name kingdom is a plant going by nomia nomenclature, a uh, scientific way of classifying. They are sub kingdom, they are sub super division, is Pamatophyta, they are division, they are class, they are subclass, the other, the family name, the genius is Capsicum, and uh, the species is uh, Frutensis. Now, the meat. Let's consider what the meat is. The meat, it is an observable phenomenon that people accept as true. For example, the sun rises from the east and sets in the west, or when you knock your left foot, it is a bad domain for failure. It is a generational observation, and so people take it ordinarily that it's a true statement. But scientifically, you, to make it a fact, you have to subject it to scientific testing. So let's look at the definition of a fact. Of fact it is evidence-based, a verified myth that has been measured and found to be true scientifically. Theory, it is a verified explanation of facts. When you are getting the facts, they are also now applicable with high probability of success. So it's uh, more or less international now. The meat we are examining here is pepper is beneficial to do that. Though we know some people medically are very allergic to pepper. We fats contain are verifiable by laboratory measurement that follows a process of testing the hypothesis. Pepper gives good health by studying the population. We gather a population to, stu to study. Or pepper prevent heart problems. Or pepper lower bad cholesterol in a given population. These are all what we study. And uh, we now come to a conclusion to agree or uh, discard the hypothesis that it is not uh, true. We shall list the test and laboratory findings in some meta-analysis studies. What we mean by meta-analysis study is the quantitative summary of different or conflicting results gotten. The theory is therefore the conclusion and the probably recommendation we discover and we apply after performing the test. Laboratory findings are so many still that I will present to you. 
and uh, let's start with chili pepper is also called capsicum anum and contain powerful antioxidant pro vitamin a vitamin e and c carotenoid and phenolic compounds such as capsaicinoids the new ten only and uh, twenty cents the capsaicinoid is the spice is responsible for its pungency that peppery the main capsinoid is capsin capsaicin which is characterized by chemopreventive antioxidant properties anti-inflammatory properties hypolipidemic property thermogenetic property and weight reducing uh it can reduce uh, uh the weights of which was we, we all tested for it with in a pre these are other tests in a preclinical study those dependent administration of uh, the antagonist pepper, uh, red pepper, prevent ad adipogenesis, that is fat building, in stimulated uh, mice, and oral administration of cap 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 capsaicin prevented obesity in male uh, mice. Also, this another one, a preclinical study indicated that red chili pepper Ethanol extract exhibit hypolipidemic effects. This was demonstrated through decreased level of total cholesterol. When you are talking of cholesterol, you can incriminate it in a cardiovascular diseases, heart problems. So the bad cholesterol are mainly what it has great effect on to, re to decrease their level. They are triglyceride and very low density lipoprotein. With simultaneous increase in good cholesterol level, in female albino wister rats undergoing high fat diets you can understand that it is an intentional study putting them on fatty diet this is another study again dietary capsaicinoids reduce total plasma cholesterol we still the same finding non high density that is the bad cholesterol and triglyceride then the short time supplementation of the red pepper decrease low density that bad cholesterol and increase the good cholesterol so these are all findings that are not contradicting each other and helping to even uh, explain further that the pepper is a very good uh, uh, spice to use for food in a study done on volunteers done how that the sugar blood level this is another study that tried to see what is the effect on sugar and it found out that the blood sugar level reduced after 30 to 45 minutes of taking the red pepper compared with normal people this is attributable to the capcasin to activate substance substance capcasin that function as a transporter which increased the secretion of insulin insulin is responsible for the absorption of glucose in the blood uh, stream so that the cells, uh, if the cells are insulin resistant, then that may not be possible. But in, in the pepper is in a way stimulating the cells to even absorb the uh, the glucose. Is in another study, it, it was found that red pepper fruit powder in ten percent percentage with the Profenda led to an increase in the level of total protein. This is no longer, uh, we are not talking of glucose anymore. We are now talking of the total protein. So that the body building itself, that pepper also helped to bring out this proteinous, uh, the albumin, the total protein of uh, the um, rats or mice under study and increase their muscle mass. The, this is another study again. The red pepper generally is influence the general pepper general influence on cholesterol and triglyceride the such that was as far back as 1960 found that red pepper reduces cholesterol and triglyceride by expanding the bloodstream and blood vessels and inhibiting enzymes responsible for producing the and um, construction of fats that is the acetyl-CoA carboxylase the glucose 6-phosphate the dihydrogenase the malix enzyme the citrate synthesis uh, synthesis. The reason behind the decrease of fat in mice fed on profenda containing red pepper is inhibiting fat absorption in the internal intestinal layer and increased throwing 
them away. You can understand when you say throwing them away is the HDL that moves fats out of the uh, cardiovascular uh, vessels and uh, 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 makes the the blockage uh, not uh, uh, not an issue. So uh, uh, the other one is when you talk of uh, meds, that is the metabolic equivalent uh, task. We, it was which are listed as obesity, hypertension, hyperglycemic, and this dyslipidemia. They were positively affected. That is, with pepper, red pepper, you find these uh, things getting low, including hypertension and also uh, hyperglycemia that could cause uh, diabetes uh, problem. So. These are findings that uh, uh, like conclusion. By way of conclusion of uh, knowing all the facts, according to the World Health Organization, most cardiovascular disease cases can be prevented by ameliorating risk factors such as high level of blood lipid, which we consider as bad cholesterol. Our present studies show that Bread pepper can help reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease by decreasing the bad cholesterol level. And we also find other things, including the sugar that we found out that, that's, and also the antioxidant effect of pepper is beneficial because it in, the increased oxidative threat has a crucial role in the development of cardiovascular diseases. But the antioxidant acts on these free radicals that damage uh, the DNA and the skin and causes uh, aging problem, has been, and which are associated with uh, uh, cardiovascular disease. And these antioxidants reduce risk. So pepper also has it. Pepper is therefore beneficial, highly beneficial to one's health. Thank you.